Hello. I just got off work and I'm mean, not work. I just got out of class. I am home now, obviously. So something so crazy. So where my mom lives right now, they keep jacking the rent up like a lot each year. And she was like, you know, I can't afford this anymore. Like it's too much. And like I've said in a couple of vlogs before, I think I've mentioned, I help her as much as I can, but I'm not always 100% able to. The reason I'm here is because I was in my own apartment, but I couldn't afford it anymore because I have to pay for school out of pocket. So that's why I live here. Well, we were going to have to move because she couldn't afford it. They were jacking their rent up. Blah, 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 blah. Figured some things out. We had the wrong information. And now we don't have to move, which is so crazy because I already had started packing and everything. It's good and bad news because I really did not want to leave this apartment. I mean, it's technically my mom's apartment and I will eventually be moving out. But I didn't want to leave this apartment. I love this apartment and... We love how it's set up and everything, like how the bedrooms are super far apart. Like these are the perfect apartments to have with roommates, like especially if people you're not super close to. It's not like your direct family, but the roommates and you want to like share an apartment. The rooms are super far apart. You know, you have your own space and it's just really, they're really nice. They have a pool. It's in a good area. But what's hard about it is they do keep jacking up the rent. Also, they're a little outdated, so they're not really worth every i mean this apartment is beautiful and i'm very grateful to we get to live here but still sometimes apartments charge way too much for what an apartment really is worth but anyway i was already kind of getting my mindset on moving like i was kind of excited to be in a different atmosphere to like redo my room like just all these things i was getting prepared for for the move and we don't have to do that anymore i had already took down a bunch of stuff off my walls which I probably won't put back up anyway. I didn't use a lot of the lights on my walls and I was thinking about taking them down anyway, so that's cool. I kind of was getting a new aesthetic for my vibe. <laughs> yeah, so we're not moving now, which is just like so weird to me. And I'm still trying to process that. I know for my mom, because she was so stressed out about it, it's a breath of fresh air, but I think she's still a little bit stressed because there's still other things going on. Anyway, we're not moving, which it's like, I'm happy about but like kind of was excited to move because we were going to maybe get a townhome and I've always I don't know why but I've always wanted to live in a townhome I've, as a kid I used to think if you had stairs in your house you were rich and I feel like if I lived in a house that had steps up I don't I really don't know but right now I meant to set this chicken out earlier to thaw and I didn't so I'm hoping that if I set it in some hot water. We'll see. I have a couple hours before I wanted to cook anyway, so we'll see if this works. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna cook because I really want to cook tonight. But I forgot that I had the idea and waited till the last minute. So yeah, gotta get. Yeah, so we're gonna have some chicken, broccoli, and some fries because I was gonna make potatoes, but we don't have any. Anyway, so yeah. So I just got out of class. I'm gonna try. Oh no! I'm so happy that my room is clean, but now that we're not moving, I really have to um do all the things I didn't want to do, like deep clean and organize. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm about to move, so I don't need to do all that, and now I have to do it. So I'm not gonna start the chicken yet. It's, I want to try to thaw out a little bit more, but I'm going to make grilled chicken in the air fryer. Well, I guess it wouldn't be grilled. It would be fried, I guess. I don't know. I made it on Christmas Eve. Oh, was it Christmas Day? I think it was Christmas Day. It was so good. I had this recipe from Pinterest. So it's, um, you put all your seasonings, which I got them lined up back there, and you soak the chicken in a bag. You're supposed to let it marinate for a couple hours. And then you put it in the air fryer for 20 minutes, and it's perfect. I made it last time, and it was so good. And then I tried to make asparagus. That was a fail. I was, yeah, that was when I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna make broccoli which I can make broccoli and then french fries which I didn't want to have french fries I was trying to be healthy but it's kind of the only option because we don't I'm just trying to use what's in the freezer right now and there's chicken that we need to use in the freezer so I'm just about to use that this fries need to be used and the broccoli needs to be used so I'm just making dinner out of it also story time um I got poop thrown at me today at work. It was flying everywhere. I was literally trying to run out of the way. And as I was running, I slipped and I said, I swear, if I stepped in this poop, I looked down and my whole shoe was in the poop. Like, and it wasn't just like poop. It was turds flying around. Like it was 
quite an experience. I've been in I've been in A for almost two years now and haven't experienced anything like that. <laughs> so I was sitting here thinking, I still haven't left to get Michaela. It's like five minutes after I just ended the last clip because I just had a random thought. Does anybody else have really like crippling anxiety to the point where if you're home alone, you feel like you can't take a shower? Because same. So I don't know why it started or why I'm like this, but ever since I was left alone for the first time ever in my life to be like home alone, I cannot take a shower if I'm home alone. Like I just can't. Like, sometimes if I'm feeling okay enough to do it, I'll do it. But there are, there's a lot of times like at night, I'm like petrified to get in the shower. Like if I'm home alone, if I know nobody's getting ready to come home in the next 15 to 20 minutes, um, or if I'm just feeling super uneasy, I won't take a shower if I'm gonna be home alone. And this is gonna sound really disgusting, but when I was in high school, I was home alone a lot because my mom worked two jobs, my parents were split up and my dad worked like really late at night. So a lot of times I'd be home alone. My sister was in college or doing whatever she was doing because she's an adult. And there would be nights where I'd come home from school. And besides the fact that I had to make my own dinner and kind of fend for myself, I would need to take a shower. I would literally wait until one in the morning when my mom would get home to take a shower. Or I would just go to bed because I had school the next day and I wouldn't take a shower for like two or three days because I was home alone. Now I've gotten to a point where I still do that, like even now, like my mom's gone right now and I really need to take a shower, especially after the poopy day I had. But I'm like petrified to get in the shower. Like it just scares me. Like the only, and I, I don't want to scare anybody who's never been scared of it <laughs> to like make them scared of it. But if you go through the same thing, maybe the same exact thing or something similar, please let me know in the comments because I feel like I'm not the only one that has like a weird phobia like that or a weird anxiety like trigger about that. But there's a lot of things that if I'm, it's only if I'm home alone at night, let me clarify. I'm home alone during the day, I'm fine. But at night, if I'm home alone, I get so anxious. Like it's, and I've always had nighttime anxiety. Like even as a kid, even if I wasn't home alone at night, I'd be sleeping in my bed, just terrified. And I slept with my parents till I was like 10 cause I was just petrified. My cat is over there destroying SpongeBob. He's not gonna do it now that I'm recording him cause that's usually how it works. But if you're the same way or have anything weird similar like that, let me know because you gonna start doing it as soon as I stop filming you? Okay, this part of the video is called Get Ready for Class With Me. I'm trying to get up. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing one of these claw clips, probably the black one. So my class tonight is at um, 8.15. And so usually um, when my class is at 8.15, I get up and start getting ready about seven because so I get up about 7 o'clock to start getting ready for my 8.15 class because what I do is I get ready around 7 and then hopefully by the by the time I get done getting ready at 7.30 and then I like to leave the house around 7.30. If I don't have to get gas or anything, sometimes I have to get gas and then I have to leave a little bit earlier. But I like to leave around 7.30. That puts me at my school about 8 o'clock exactly. So it gives me 15 minutes to get to class, which literally I don't even need. But I like to be there early. I don't like being late. So right now I'm going to go from this to what it look like what it looks like when I go to school. So let's get to it. Terrible angle. I'm sorry. But I'm going to fix my hair up for class. Now that I'm in my work, I mean my class, school clothes. I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. Oh my. I'm in my school clothes. I straightened my hair the other day because it's just easier for me to handle it when it's straight. I don't like to do this all the time because I don't want to fry my hair, but it's just been really easy the last few days to just get up and do something with it because when it's curly, there's not really much I can do. So I'm just going to put it in a low pony, like so. And if it's a little messy, I don't really care because I'm gonna use my black claw clip. My school is really strict about like our dress code. So I try not to go against it at all because really they only want us to really abide by it for clinicals. But I try to just abide by it now because 
I'm a good student. I just put it up in a claw clip and then I'm just gonna try to tame it back with this brush. And see if my hair was curly right now, I would not be able to do this. Like it would have to go in a bun and I would have to have a really tight bun on my head to keep my hair together. And I just don't wanna have a headache every day. I'm gonna refresh with some deodorant. I usually put my deodorant on before I put my shirt on, but I wanted to be able to show you guys. And then I freshen up with my perfume. Cheek, 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 cheek. Why do it look like there's ashes? Look like there was ashes in my sink. I've already brushed my teeth today, but if I take a nap before class, I like to brush my teeth before I go to class. Since I go to school at night, I don't really care too much about looking like super put together, but like I said, they really want us to look decent because you know when you start working in the nursing field or any job professionally, you don't go looking like a hot mess. Unless you do, but you're not supposed to. <laughs> and so I always try to look somewhat put together, but some, not overdoing it because one, it's a night class. Like it's literally gonna be 10, 15 when I get home and I don't need to be doing anything super crazy. So now I'm just gonna put on some chapstick. This is kind of basically the same thing I would do in the morning for work. I don't like to overdo it for work either because it's literally just work. But. So typically I'll refresh my face with some of this pimple um, uh, replenisher, is that what it's called? Blemish treatment mist, I don't know what I was talking about. But there's really not any in here. There's like nothing, yeah, there's nothing in here. I did not moisturize my face today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I've been waking up late for work the past couple mornings, which I typically don't do, but it's been so cold in the mornings. It's been so hard to get up. I'm usually really early to work and I have been late the past like three days. Kind of like freshen my face up. I usually do this in the morning. I usually don't do any of my skincare stuff before school. I usually do all that after. I usually just spray the mist on my face before school to kind of just I don't know, wake me up or something. Brush my eyebrows out because they're bushy. Okay, so we're almost there. So hair is done, did a little bit of skincare, did my eyebrows, brush my teeth, lips. And then I usually always wear this heart ring like every, every single day. But when I go to work, I take it off just because I don't want it to get gross. And then Clean up my sink so it doesn't start getting dirty like the last time. I'm just gonna spray a couple more sprays of spray. And then I'm pretty much done with the whole getting ready like up here thing. So I already organized my book bag. I mentioned in a video before, I usually like to get my book bag ready the night before. So that way I can just relax all the way after work up until I have to leave for school. So wheel her on out here. And I'm just gonna reveal my book bag out here so it's ready to go. And then I'm gonna grab my sh <gasps> Wow. I have this bag that our school gave us. I think I've showed it to you guys before. It's not really my favorite. These are my school shoes. For nursing school, we had to have all white shoes that have like a, like a hard top, no soft top, because you know, you're gonna be dealing with bodily fluids and needles and stuff, which we don't directly work with in nursing school but because we will eventually directly be working with that stuff in the nursing field they like us to be prepared and i don't know where i did with my name tag for school so i should probably find that oh i need socks i was about to put my shoes on without socks so i found my name tag i love this thing that a friend got me i showed this a few videos back but it says nurse in progress she bought that for me when i started school this pencil needs to go in my book bag and then Always bring my AirPods. I don't know, I typically don't even use them, but I like to have them. I'm going to put these, I'm gonna put those in my purse. Put my pencil, I have all these brand new pencils, but I've been trying to just use one, like the same one every day, so I'm not using them all up. Seven, 11, so we're making good time. I have my laptop. I'm probably not going to take it because pretty much we never use it. For, we don't really need it for class. Um, so I'm not going to take it. I am going to put some of my coconut oil on my lips though. And I always bring my purse with me, which just has my wallet, lip gloss in it, and now my AirPods. Because, well, my purse will stay in the car while I'm at school, but I always bring it 
just in case. Because if I don't go straight home after school, which I should, I don't really ever do anything after class because I have zero friends. I took an exam yesterday and it's an exam I was like really confident about. I'm pretty sure I did really good on it, but you know, I don't want to be too cocky. <laughs> but I am going to check and see if that grade is up, which I'm pretty sure it's not because uh, we just took it yesterday. And I remember I had this same professor last term. It took her forever to post our exam grades. I put my jacket on. <sighs> okay, so. I'm just going to check and see if it's uploaded. Pretty sure it's not, but I'm just going to check anyway because I'm just, like, anxious. Because I know, like, I'm pretty sure it's not uploaded, but, like, I'm going to lose my mind if I don't check. <laughs> so all I pretty much do to get ready, um, it's 7.13 now, so I usually get ready a little... I usually am ready earlier than normal, but I give myself that 30-minute grace period to get ready in case, like, I stupidly forgot, like... A homework assignment or if I I don't know I just gave myself that 30 minutes and I always get to school early anyway but like I said I hate being late for anything because it gives me so much anxiety because one I don't want to be the late person and two I don't want to walk in after every uh, and everybody look at me walking in the door and the teachers talking like that's embarrassing so I try to be early so <laughs> I can live without anxiety which I still usually have anxiety because the other people I'm in class with, they have a class before me, before I get there. So the door's always shut. There's no little window. So I'm always scared. I'm like, are they still in class? Is their class over yet? So I always open the door like this. Like, it's so embarrassing. Anyway, I'm going to go. But I just wanted to share getting ready with me for school. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And maybe one day I'll do, uh, like, get on ready with me after school or like a, just, I don't even know. But if you guys want to see anything else regarding school in a video just let me know what it is you want to see and i will try my best to do it